It's a perfect day. I was up at, I woke up at 4.30 and I thought, I'm gonna get up and get my coffee and I'll do a quick ink drawing. And I took climatic data at that early in the morning. And, uh, and I thought about, they said, I have a marine weather radio and I said, we're saying, you know, maybe some rain. But you know what? It cleared off to this kind of day. And look at those clouds, they're very lofty. And I can remember in a, taking landscape painting with Mr. Blackburn, and it was a crystal clear day, right? And he was giving a demo, and he said, Pat, Patricia, he called me, he said, can't you call up a cloud? And I saw one just starting in the distance. And I said, well, what kind do you want? And, because I could read the, and I went, and it appeared. Oh my God. <laughs> I used to do that all the time, but I, I knew one was going to come along, and he, he didn't know. This barn's been here for three years, and uh, we're talking to Pat about her barn and the Morris River School of Art, and I started to call this the Goshen School of Art just for fun, and I said, you know, wouldn't it be really great if Pat would come to my barn, from one barn to another? And uh, she was like, immediately she goes, oh yeah, that's great. I'll definitely do it. I was telling my grandmother how I still have it. I can still show up at the barn and be able to read Pat what she needs before she ever thinks about asking me for it or sometimes before she thinks she needs it. I'll have that book ready or those supplies ready because she said one key word that made me think, oh, she's going to go down that path now and that's the way for me to go. I have to tell you a story about Pastel. We have four-year-olds studying at the barn and one little boy was playing, um, doing chalk, non-toxic pastels, of course. And he's only four, and he's smearing it around. He said, if I knew it was this messy and fun, I would do it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. And that was Connor.